Grab your bowler hat as you give your javelin the spurs to ride into the depths of adventures and stories taking place in New Chuzan and its surroundings when we delve into Neil Stevenson's The Diamond Age or A Young Lady's Illustrated Primer. For short, I am going to call the novel in question just The Diamond Age. The Diamond Age is another of Neil Stevenson's standalone novels. Published in the year 1995, this 499 page long epic was hot on the heels of Neil Stevenson's claim to fame, his cyberpunk satire Snow Crash, which itself was published in the year 1992. Both works share fundamental ideas and their writing style exhibits some similarity. This observation is noteworthy because, in my opinion, Stevenson's writing style evolved significantly throughout the 90s and 2000s. If Snow Crash epitomizes the thrill-seeking cyberpunk adrenaline junkie, then the Diamond Age could be likened to Snow Crash's more reserved, thoughtful and introspective post-cyberpunk twin sister. The Diamond Age easily sports a Diamond Heart rating on the Sci-Fi Mo scale, predominantly exploring societal developments we will delve into in this review. The biggest exception to this is advanced nanotechnology allowing the creation of objects bottom-up via the help of so-called metacompilers. Think of a variation of Star Trek's replicators as an analogon. The scope of the narrative setting, while mostly focused on Shanghai and its surroundings, is comparatively vast and detailed. Furthermore, there are also plots in other parts of the world expanding the overall narrative onto a global scale. The Diamond Age is bursting with original ideas and novel concepts, which will be given their necessary time of discourse throughout this review video. In addition, the cast of protagonists and side characters numbers north of a dozen, which seems to be Neil Stevenson's sweet spot for most of his other books as well. In terms of critical acclaim, The Diamond Age was able to secure two awards, while at the same time being nominated seven further times. In particular, it won the Hugo and Locus Awards in the year 1996, and it was shortlisted for the Nebula Award. Its popular reception is also nothing to scoff at. With a combined rating of 4.2 out of 5 stars based on thousands of reviews, the Diamond Age manages to overtake its quote-unquote twin, Snow Crash. Obviously, where there is success in literature, there will be producers trying to adapt the novel into a movie or television show. Unsurprisingly, this was also the case for The Diamond Age. In the year 2007, the Sci-Fi Channel revealed plans for a six-hour miniseries adaptation. A report from June 2009 in Variety indicated that Zoe Green had been tasked with writing the series, while George Clooney and Grant Hasloff of Smokehouse Productions were set to serve as executive producers for the project. However, since then, there have been no further news related to this project. The plot of the Diamond Age follows the life of Nell, a young girl from the low-class, leased territories near Shanghai, living without a file, or in other words, without a tribe. At the age of four, Nell receives from her older brother a stolen copy of The Young Lady's Illustrated Primer, an advanced interactive book commissioned by the wealthy neo-Victorian equity lord Alexander Chung Sik Finkel McGraw for his granddaughter Elizabeth. The Primer is designed to educate its reader to unlock their full potential, encouraging intellectual development and personal independence. Intersecting with this narrative is the story of actress Miranda Redpath, 
who voices characters in the primer and becomes a maternal figure to Nell. Simultaneously, the story explores the downfall of the nanotech engineer behind the primer, John Percival Hackworth. Hackworth's actions become known to various influential figures, including the elusive Dr. X and also Lord Finkel McGraw, both of whom manipulate Hackworth for their own agendas. The title of the novel, The Diamond Age, is directly linked to statements made by technological visionaries such as Eric Drexler and Ralph Merkel, who argued that the ability to manipulate individual atoms could be used in the future to create so-called diamondoids, carbon-based structures most likely in a hybridization lending itself for strength and durability. Merkley himself specifically said in a Technology Review article from 1997, link in the description below, that, and I quote, In diamond, then, a dense network of strong bonds creates a strong, light and stiff material. Indeed, just as we named the Stone Age, the Bronze Age and the Steel Age, after the materials that humans could make, we might call the new technological epoch we are entering the Diamond Age. The more detail-oriented viewers among you might have already noticed that this article was published after Neil Stevenson's novel. As another small bit of trivia, in the initial phases of its creation, the Amazon Kindle e-reader was given the codename Fiona deliberately referencing the illustrated primer and Fiona Hackworth, John's daughter from the Diamond Age. Looking back, the Diamond Age may prove to have more enduring quality and relevance compared to Snow Crash, despite the latter's significant impact on concepts like the Metaverse and the Internet. However, the predictions made in the Diamond Age such as Mediatronics, a ubiquitous presence of interactive screens, akin to today's smartphones, smartwatches and tablets, as well as reactive entertainment, exemplified by platforms like Twitch and other interactive social media and online entertainment, suggest that there may be further developments yet to unfold in line with Stevenson's vision brought forth in the Diamond Age. Another striking example is a mention of the dissolution of the fiat monetary system and the subsequent dissolution of nation states due to their inability to collect taxes under a decentralized monetary system. This concept, which is obviously alluding to something akin to Bitcoin, was hinted at as early as in the year 1995, and it sets the stage for the decentralized society on a global scale we encounter in the Diamond Age. The Diamond Age's foresight extends even further when considering the events in recent years. The novel alludes to China's rise and claim as one of the dominant powers in the world, a concept echoed in the evolving geopolitical landscape of today. Additionally, the portrayal of Neo-Confucianism in the East and Neo-Victorianism in the West or Anglosphere as responses to growing nihilism and progressivism resonates with emerging trends that we can observe in the year 2024 suggesting a shift towards philosophical and cultural re-evaluations amidst societal transformations. Overall, The Diamond Age is probably one of Neil Stevenson's best novels, as it combines boundless original ideas with thought-provoking questions that resonate to date more than ever. Furthermore, Stevenson avoided the trap of abrupt endings and disjointed overarching plots, at least to such an extent that it was not as glaring as with books such as Seven Eves or Fall. On a more personal note, up and first reading the novel in my mid to late teens, The Diamond Age was intriguing, 
but perhaps it seemed to me that it was not as captivating and exhilarating as the fast-paced snow crash that I read at a similar time. However, revisiting the novel as an adult revealed new depths, particularly in its exploration of child rearing in general and, more specifically, in an age with omnipresent access to interactive media and its influence on the minds of the young. Thus, Nell's early experiences in the story became much more important and compelling in this more mature stage of my life when I revisited the Diamond Age. Unsurprisingly, I can wholeheartedly recommend The Diamond Age to anyone who has enjoyed reading Neil Stevenson's novels and to anyone who is interested in a post-cyberpunk fairy tale that has made surprisingly accurate predictions and might possibly end up making even more of them in the future. If you liked this video, you may also enjoy the other reviews and content on my channel. Feel free to leave a comment if you want to discuss the novels or if you want to suggest other books that I should review in the future. Please consider upvoting and subscribing, it is much appreciated. Thank you for watching and until next time.